Are we just going through the motions? Or are we going to be doing something special? So be in the do locker something room. special. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come Best on, baby. Do something You've special. You've got this. Hey, I believe in you. Do Let's something go. special. Let's go, baby. Let's Make go. Make it happen. Look at that hair. What do you do? Is it just jeans? Success and good choices. <laughs> just staying out of people's business. <laughs> yeah. Just leaving people alone. Letting okay. people be happy. All right, you right. do color it. No. I swear on my life. I, I put a wax in there and shove it all back. What an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I hope you're recording on this because oh, yeah. it's just oh, yeah. what an asshole. That's, I'm this close to just walking away yeah, from Yeah, it's this. like, you know what? He has enough. Well, <laughs> joke's on you because my first question was, what do you think of my hair? So I got the interview <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, guys, seriously, thank you for right. your time. I yeah, appreciate it. It's great it. to see you, uh, my friend. I'm going to start out with a weird question. Uh, I did an interview about two weeks back with two of my favorite actors of all time. John Hamm and John Slattery. Oh, oh yeah. Mad Men. Oh, Mad Men. I love that. Great show. Great. Good, Good choice. choice. What else has AMC done? Good choice. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't record. Ah, so oh. you guys were kind enough to come back here and give me a second shot at this. Our in pleasure. This I, I love that we get to hang Which out Which I person. appreciate. Yeah. So I want to start out by asking, what's the best second chance you've ever gotten in your career or your life? Oh, man, the best second chance. That's a great question. Um, honestly, th this is a, a second chance with this, with you and I. Doesn't it imply, though, that something didn't work out at first and you get a second try at something? Maybe. He said what he said. Okay. You know what? I said what I said. Right, what, said what are you going to say? <laughs> no. Um, yeah. I mean, you can, you know, imply it any way you want. But um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Um, yeah. I mean, this is, this is a pretty beautiful second chance. You know, we had such an amazing experience together on Breaking Bad. And uh, obviously, I knew we were going to... Uh, be friends forever. I, I, we both knew that. Sure. Um, and it, that's not how it always is. It really isn't. I mean, you, you want to obviously get along with your coworkers, but a lot of times you just do your work, do the best job you can do, and you go on with yeah. your day-to-day -day lives. On. Yeah. Um, but the idea to be able to go, you know, head-to-head -head with him again on something else, I thought in my head, you know what, we're going to do that again for sure, you know, down the road. Um, I knew that was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to be to this sort of, you know, extent. But uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. I get to tackle this industry with one of my favorite people oh. in the world. I mean, not my favorite person in the world. One, one of that's huge. One of the favorite. That's one huge. of my favorite. How handsome yeah. he is. Yeah. We uh, we we joke that if we had uh, played golf. We wouldn't have a mezcal business. <laughs> Dos hombres would not be a reality because we'd be exactly. able to see each other on the golf course. Right. And it's like, hey, that's good. Yeah. You know, but but yeah. we don't play golf. So uh, we had to justify seeing each other. This is where men fall way short of women. Well, women are just are so much smarter, far, far, far superior, superior species. When they miss someone, they see someone. Men have to go. Well, we have you know, a business, we have to play golf, we have to do, we have to justify, so yeah. we can't just see each other. Yeah. But that's what created this, yeah, this opportunity. So the best thing to happen to empty glasses around the world is that Breaking Bad ended. You, some people could I like say that. that. I'm going to yeah. steal that phrase. There you go. Yes. There you go. Yeah. I'm oh, I told you, Galatia, honestly, and I do junkets every day, you can't always tell people that you love the product that they're putting out. This is what I drink. Oh, this right. time of mezcal, I'm not blowing smoke. This is this is what I drink. That's a, you know we, it, we, we mezcal that. is smoking. Yes. It's like oh, we're not just blowing smoke. We're not just Tried blowing those hombres. Smoke. And if you're wondering how did this become tres hombres, it's because of that moment you just <laughs> oh, saw. God, I'll, start signing, I'll start signing. I'll start signing. Yeah, all it's the fine. Yeah, the it's bottles fine. Yeah. And put it in there. Um, if I'm at a video store and I see Steven Spielberg renting Jaws, I sort of pause and go, "That's interesting." If Mick Jagger walks by and out of his AirPods, I hear the Rolling Stones. I go. That's, that's interesting. If I see you guys at a bar and I hear you order Dos Hombres, is there a part of you, do you get a little self-conscious about like, they're going to hear me ordering my own? Not at all. Not no. at all. No. No. As a matter of fact, we no. keep exploring. So we've discovered that it works exceptionally well. Dos Hombres in a, in a Negroni, in an Old Fashioned, in a Paloma, in a Margarita, yeah. keep going. I mean, Michelada. You could, yes. Yeah. It's, yeah it's, it's, truly, it's... 
Uh, we love exploring and trying new cocktails, and I, we love going to accounts that have us on their cocktail menu all the time. They're like, please, you know, try, try the drink that we've concocted with Dos Ombres. Sure. And we're just hoping, you know, hoping it's great. And, uh, and in Chicago, it's been nothing but beautiful um, experiences. And by the way, you know, if Steven Spielberg met someone who has never seen Jaws, right. how great would it be to say, come with me oh my God. and watch yeah. Jaws for your first time. Yeah. I'd love to see your reaction. Yeah. And that's a, kind of the same way with us uh, going into a bar with Dos Hombres. It's like, we, we just met a couple today, yeah. today, who are celebrating their year anniversary. Yeah. And Aaron says, we're buying you a couple a drinks. drink, yeah. We buy them a couple drinks. We met a group of kids here in, near Wrigleyville who, who are cleaning who up are, the city? Who are doing, uh, you know, uh, of donation age work. kids, of not just of, yeah, 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 yeah. of yeah. age. We call them kids. Yeah, they were yeah. out of they were out of bar. Yeah, um, but they all had uh, uniforms on, and it was very obvious that they were spending the day cleaning up the city, which is so great. Um, so we they were very them. excited yeah. to see yeah. us and. I think we bought them around a drink. Okay, I love that you guys do that because on the flip side of that, I'd imagine everyone and their mom wants to be able to say that they bought you guys drinks. I prefer sipping on. I'm, not, I, I'm 35. My my days of shots are behind me. I prefer slow sipping on this all night. Yeah. If someone wants to do, what are the rules? If someone sees you guys across the way, wants to send you, does it need to be dos hombres? Is there a way to do it? Is there a particular way, like to, to sort of know, so I don't make an ass out of myself. <laughs> yes, it's, um, we won't drink anything but Dos Ombres. Uh, now, if it's not, and, and, do you yeah. throw it back in their yeah, face? Yeah. No, we're not it's so no. crass. Hey, keep, keep sending me <laughs> drinks, you know, I don't mind. And I, to be honest, I, I don't only drink Dos Ombres. I mean, I love How drink. dare you? You're like cheating on me. Look, let me tell you, let me be what? straight up. Let me be straight up. I will always order Dos Ombres when they have Dos Ombres. Always, I, I really do. I just, I love it that much. Um, but if they don't have those sombras, then I'll we'll try something, something else. else. Yeah. It, it, we, we want every mezcal to be great. Yeah. We really do, because then the entire category of mezcal is of Lift a high ships. level. Yeah. And so that new people to the category, people who haven't tried mezcal before, will taste it, even if it's not ours, and go, hey, that's pretty good, that, yeah. I like that. So then maybe they'll try ours at some point. But if they go, oh, if they taste a poorly produced mezcal, then they might be turned off forever. Sure. We don't want that. Um, I love finding out what happens to people after they've had a few. Everyone has that thing that happens. Hopefully it's a good day. For me, uh, I'm from the South. I took non-regional addiction. My Southern accent comes out if I've had a few too many of these. What's the th your favorite thing about what happens to the other person when they've had a few too many dos hombres? Um, he starts stripping. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, he just can't. It's he my just, natural. Uh, <laughs> he default. just can't help himself. Um, no, uh, actually, I, I, I feel like I've never kind of lost control with you, right? No, I don't. No, but it's not even losing control. He gets happier and more celebratory. Yeah. He gets the, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. starts making friends with everyone in the bar. Yeah. And I think, what do I? What happens? To I me mean, I, I. I think this is the same same with you. Yeah, we have yeah, we, we I think we're good uh, we're good drinkers. You know, I, I, I have responsible some responsible drinkers. We, we, yeah, we are. But I have some friends that have a little too many, and they get a you know some some weird sides come We've out. We've had sure. experiences where people change their personalities completely, completely change, shift. and you're like, and it's like Ooh, oh, John Hammond, and John Slattery. No, those no. those two upstanding young Johns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very, very nice Johns. They were at a hooker convention recently. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. And those hookers said they are the nicest Johns yeah. they've ever met. Yeah. Uh, I, um, I, I read a lot of interviews where you guys talked about lessons you learned in the world of acting that you were able to bring to this business. But I kind of want to flip it around. What is a lesson you learned in this industry, working on this spirit between each other, that might be applicable in the world of acting that works on set? To be honest, it's just, I think with any industry, it just takes work. Mm -hmm. You know, you just, the more work you put in, uh, the better the product. The fact that you're here, the better the you don't. You guys don't have to be here, but you're here no, with people, don't. shaking hands, yeah, and you're no, meeting we love people. it. It's our baby. You know, it's important for us uh, to get uh, in front of people to let people know why and how this this company came to be, 
It was our brainchild. It was all self-funded. Mostly your brainchild. He thought of it. Well, but that's it. I thought of it. We we needed to you know march forward together yeah. in but this. he continues to be the brains of the outfit i'm the beauty of the outfit. <laughs> that's why you do the stripping i, I yeah. just yeah, you yeah, know yeah, i have yeah. to it's accept true. that no that's one wants what to see me i represent yeah you know the yeah. the really attractive side of course <laughs> and, uh, yeah yeah no it's uh it's just it's the same with any industry you know you gotta you gotta put in the work you gotta press record you and gotta that's, just that's do the really good. <laughs> you yeah. just you got to press record. <laughs> you got to press you gotta record. Remember you gotta remember to press record. Yeah. No, 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 no. Just when no. you just will never make no. air. Hey, look, let, let me, let me, let me tell you something though. I, uh, the moment I heard what happened, my heart sunk for you. You know, truly. I you. And so when I heard that you wanted to set up another, th- it was no, no, Brent. He We're immediately like, said no. Yeah, and then he goes, and then I, come on. we got him. You know, we got a feel for the guy. Yeah. You know, he's just a human, just and like all he, of us. I'm but like, then he yeah, said no well, again. Well, he just, said no come again. Come on, he didn't oh, well, press like, the button. Oh my God. Yeah, he didn't press the button. button. You would have pressed the button. I would have pressed the button. No, I, uh, I'm so it happy happens. we could do this in person. I appreciate person. it. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, for this might surprise some people. You guys know each other before working on this particular spirit. You had a little bit of a history working on on things. Yeah. What is your favorite thing that you learned about the other person working on Dos Hombres that you didn't know while you were acting together? That's a great question. I have one. I didn't know how deep his creative ability was. I really didn't. I I knew he he was an honorable man. A, a, a man of, of, uh, of good faith and, and I can trust him and, uh, and he was talented but then you switch this is a different skill set acting and business mm-hmm. it's a different skill set and we thought we, I was going to learn together with him but he, he you out, outpaced me completely in this and uh, I didn't realize how, how specifically talented he was in, in business acumen, but also in the creative sense of it. I, I don't know how to follow that up. I agree. Yeah, you know? yeah. Just, that's it. <laughs> no, 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 that's it. No, wow, well, well I, I, I appreciate that, man. And I honestly, I, what I learned from this, I mean, I, I, the thing is I knew this before. Um, he's just such an amazing collaborative, you know, collaborator. He uh, is open to any and all ideas. He has uh, endless amounts of ideas. Um, what I love about Brian, and I always say this, he is always ready to do the work. He, he comes out swinging nonstop. And he's, he's a couple years older than me. Just a couple. Just a couple. But he is just nonstop. I mean, this is, it's a lot of work. It, it truly is our full-time job at the moment, for sure. It's a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, but he's just, uh, he, he doesn't give up. But also, he... <laughs> He can't help himself, but just uh, things just spew out of his mouth. Spew. That, that, like that, a volcano. that yeah, like a volcano yeah. that is just so incredibly immature that. It's erupting with pros. It's yes. just coming out. He can't help himself. Spewing it, it immaturity. Com- it, com- it comes out so fast. I'm like, how yeah, did yeah, that, yeah, e- like, you didn't even have time to I, think about I it. I can't and it even just hold com- it. Yeah. Like earlier today, he goes, uh, he looks at me, he's like, uh, it just comes out. I go, you, I, I go B, like, you, yeah, can't, yeah. you can't even control it. He's like, no, no I can't just, control it. It just, it just happens. It just comes <laughs> out. The writer's track is <laughs> over, yeah. so you can it's actually it's it's channel it. Yeah, out. yeah. It's, just, uh, it's just amazing. But, um, yeah, I'm just continuing to be in, in awe on the guy. It, once I realized when we were working together on Breaking Bad that he is a man of high character. And so, like your partner in, in your personal life, that's the key. When people ask, how, how long? You've, I've been married 34 years. He's been married 13 years. I've been together 10 years. 10 years, yeah, but married 10, years. yeah. And uh, it's like, what's the secret? A, a young woman asked us that now. She was married a year. What's yeah. the secret to him? And I said, you marry character. You marry a person who you know you can depend on. Yeah. And you pick five things that are most important to you. You know, what are most important to you? And hold true to those five things. Fidelity. Uh, Honesty, you know, a, a, a commitment to to the relationship, no matter how tough it gets. Yeah. You 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 weather you commit, the storm. Yeah. You commit. And you to go it. through. It. Yeah. And that's it. I'm planning on proposing next year. Would you guys really? give a speech? Are you really? Yeah. Yeah. Would you guys give a now, speech? Now, is she going to see this? She won't. I'll cut. The, I'll clip that part out. 
Oh, yeah. Well, or this could be. The or this is, this is. This, this is. It. If you were to propose right now, how would you do it? Yeah, how would you I would probably just look in the camera and just go say, say my name. Oh, and then oh she, wow. And she would say my fiance, and I would go, you're goddamn. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's the, that's that's pretty good. Yes. I hope you said yes. <laughs> it's gonna be really uh, awkward. Yeah. Yeah. All right, a couple more, and I'll cut you guys right. loose. Uh, I want to talk about the fact that you guys were talking about. You're walking around Chicago. You're meeting people. You're gonna meet people tonight. Get yeah. the chance. And and honestly, I, this is again, I'm not blowing smoke. Whenever people ask who are the, some of the nicest people that you've met, I always name you guys. You've always been very kind to me. You've always been very sweet. You've doing. You're doing this. Who are some of the people that you admire that you've met that you were nervous to meet that were kind to you and kind of gave you an impression of how you want to meet fans? Oh man, and, um, and you know, so uh, I I can go. I mean, the people who made impressions about how I want to behave when I was first coming up: Tom Hanks, uh, James Garner, Dick Van Dyke. These are people I worked with on the set, uh, and and they basically the way they behaved yeah. to their cast and crew and everything. It's like, that's the way to do it. And we know that once you become the number one on a call sheet, yeah. you take on that responsibility and you set a tone of how you want your set to, to, yeah. to exist with respect of everyone on the set and kindness mm. and everybody gets along and we, we have a great time doing it and go home. Yeah. So Breaking Bad wasn't just a great show on screen it was a great show off screen as well we heard many times where crew members and actors wanted to come on our show because they heard of the conditions that we but that we was created. uh that was him well, leading, no leading and that. you well but you to, to be honest he really uh and i want to give a shout out to bill paxton you know, mm. that was the first real series I was on, you know, strong reoccurring. I started in the second season of the show called Big Love. Love Big Love. And he was such an incredible yeah, he's a leader. Sweet, he was a sweetheart. He just, uh, I, I love him so much. Um, miss then, him. I miss yeah. him so much, yeah. Uh, but, uh, and then Brian, you know, leading the charge on, on Breaking Bad was just, he really showed me that you do have a responsibility because it does trickle down from, you know, the head to the show. It really does. The, 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 the creators to the, the top of the call sheet with the cast, you, you set the tone. And uh, he goes, look, there's no reason why we can't do a, a beautiful job. We come ready, but have a good time. There's no reason. I mean, we're telling such a heavy, heavy story. There's no reason why we can't have a, a good time. It's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Yeah. Love that. They're giving me the wrap. I'm going to cut you guys loose on this. We're in Chicago, uh, the station I work for. We're the home of the Bears. Big sports people. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Brian, I was going to ask for a pep talk. Can you no, give yeah. me like, what? No, no. You don't know? be. Hey, look, it's going to happen. The I Bears. Go, the Bears. The no, Bears. For Bears fans out there, we're, we're down a little bit. We're not out. You know, I think we have a chance of winning the next two, which would put us at three and two. What, what, what do you guys think? What, what, what can, you what don't can have we... a chance of winning the next two games. Why are you saying that? I'm just being a realist. Come that's, on, the Bears. That is completely They're insane playing the for Broncos. you to say. They just gave up 70 points. That's right. Yeah, yeah. They, so they, are, they have a chance. They, no, they, they are like don't angry listen. badgers. Hey, don't, Chicago, don't listen. The that's Bears, the, the, the Broncos lost by they, 70 points they gave up. They're going to be so angry. They're going to come out firing. So the Bears have got to be at a high level. If they don't match that energy, it's going to go down quickly. So they have to find something. They have to, the Bears have got to dig deeper. And they have to find something that's, what are we here for? They've got to answer that question. What are we here for? Are we just going through the motions? Are we going to be doing something special? So be in the do locker something room. special. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Let's Bears. Go. Come Let's on, Bears. Do something You've special. You've got this. Hey, I believe in you. Do Let's something go. special. Let's go, baby. Let's Make go. Make it happen. Yeah, that was great, dude. Oh, Holy oh, shit. Oh, come on, brother. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Are you really, yeah. really going to uh, uh, ask her to marry yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah, Good for I, I you, love, brother. Yeah, this is her, her daughter made me made me oh, this. Oh, look, my, my daughter yes. made me this. Yes. My I'm, daughter gave I'm, me a scar yeah. right <laughs> here. <laughs> right, I love Thank you, brother. Seriously, thank you. Thank you.